Hello there, Cancer. Welcome into Sage Sensor Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Much love and gratitude. If you are new, welcome in. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. If you are returning, much love and appreciation for, for you being here continuously. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate your presence in my readings. I am happy to be able to do readings for you. I love it. I enjoy it. So thank you so much. And... Um, Oh, <laughs> okay. What is the two of pentacles? Six of swords. So something is moving. Oh, a shift. Oh, it's like a shift in uh, your sense of self-worth and your identity, a sense of values. Like, I feel it is where you are finding value in this time. The things you're finding valuable are things you're, you're appreciating. New, valuable things. New things that you're seeing as valuable. You're appreciating these things now. Right? Like you're giving them more of your attention. So that's the shift I'm feeling for you. Yes, things that are based in your heart. I feel it's uh some of you, some someone ran away. It feels like you know that energy when you run away from home. So I do feel like someone may have run away or skipped town or something, and then someone came to get them back. All right. <clears throat> we have the six of swords, so that's movement. And I feel it's a shift in energy and it's a, it's actually a physical movement. Someone actually moving towards someone or having retrieved someone or something that they love. <laughs> I love this so much. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the two of hearts. Okay. Cancer, you are here. Welcome in. I appreciate you so much. I love it. Oh, all right. I feel, uh, all right, let's shuffle because I feel, um, for me personally, I feel there is a need to clear out blockages with expression that flow from heart, heart chakra, through throat chakra in, in the way I express myself. So I feel like uh, it's, it's a, a calling, it's a, a calling to do messages for how can cancerians clear up energy blocks in their heart chakra because this is what this message is about really, healing your heart. Because I feel like uh, it's like, you know, we have the chakra system. So I do feel like uh, and, and that energy that flows when you're aligned, when your chakras are aligned. So I feel as if um, you were aligning your chakras but, and when it got to your heart. And I feel like this is the place where you can forgive. You can leave the where well, you forgive because you hold a space for love for everything and anything that you experience so you're able to forgive because you can see the blessings that were in the situation that you were experiencing you're able to forgive to let go to leave the past behind what is done is done that's the energy i'm feeling when it comes to healing your heart look at this it's now it's time to pay attention to your heart to aligning with yourself the love that you have for yourself okay i feel some of you are moving away from an earth sign that's actually presented that presented themselves to be wealthy or valuable like high value like this person i feel they were um trying to present themselves as being high value either a high value female or a high value male that's the energy they were giving to you uh, it, look this person has an attitude ego you know with the king of pentacles here um so i feel like you may have you may be leaving this behind because and i feel it is actually grace literally with the seven of cups energy that's that's shifting your vibration because i'm getting the energy of butterflies that's why i'm feeling grace for you it's something natural it's like an inspiration that comes out of a, a beautiful thing for example you are seeing so many beautiful butterflies or something like that but and it, it completely shifts your vibration from paying attention to this person earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and to actually look for but it's like this inspiration in you like an awakening of life of more Oh, I feel of more of more. I feel that it's like a, a fresh water of newer waters because newer, fresh water. I feel like you have been through some things, Cancerian. You've been in the flood waters, but I feel like you're moving with the six of swords through that. And you could be moving through that so rapidly. And, and you may be been experiencing a lot of chaos, but I do feel like it's because things need to clear out for you swiftly. For you to really align with your higher self. There's a calling. I feel like there's something that you... There's a calling. Someone is following their heart on a journey. Their, your journey. Oh my God. Listen. I feel a great vision for you. I, I, and, and there's a, a calling for you. A journey that you're supposed to be on. And I'm getting the vibes. 
of um, traveling, just being on a journey, moving, you're just moving across different lands. And it's not, it's as if you are not even physically moving, you're just floating across. It, I, I, that energy is hard for me to say, no. It's more like you're not working, it's not effort, right? So it's not, you are not physically efforting this move forward. You're being carried through grace or just because of who you are. And it's so beautiful. I feel like you're spreading love, you're sharing love. Look at how you're touching your heart. It's so, your heart. You know, it's, it's, I feel it's a beautiful energy. There's still mm, a lingering sense of pain or a sense of mistrust or a sense of um uh something misalignment possibly but i do feel like within that space where you feel uh, a bit of doubt or fear sometimes with the swords i feel it there's something in you that could become more grounded and stable and uh it, it's it could result in you becoming whole like accepting this part of you as it is and realizing wholesomeness within the whole the whole situation your whole self despite the fear so becoming whole with your fears and doubts so instead of separating from them or trying to fix it it's like i feel wow it's so powerful it's like you claim them your fears or doubts or whatever these things are you claim them and it makes you whole you literally move in wholesomeness because you know who you are you know what your fears are and these things it causes you to challenge your oh my god i wish i could explain it it's so beautiful it's like a mystic energy like one who is a mystic where you're, you're you don't get setbacks or caught up in your emotions whatever illusions you're faced with are fear disbelief doubts you actually allow allow it to me uh, allow it to, to to elevate you each time so you're no longer fearful, but you know that when these energies come up, there's something about to change. There's a lot of changes going on for you. Okay. Some of you could be aligning with a soulmate. Like this person could be on the horizon. This person could literally just be on the horizon and you're moving toward them. Or you're, it's like you can feel them or sense them or know that they're there. And it, uh, it's like the sun that's there and you know it's there and you're looking at the sun and you're going toward the energy of the sun. It's like you're literally floating and drifting across a landscape. That's the energy I'm getting once more with the king here. And you know what? Certain fears or doubts or whatever it is that you have uh, going on with the sword's energy. Like uh, mistrust or not, or not being able to really trust in others or sometimes feeling lonely. Whatever it is for you. It actually helps you to stay grounded. It, uh, I feel it has something to do with the way it helps you to remain grounded, actually. That's how I feel. So instead of fight it, I feel claim it. Because swords is actually swiftness and directness. So when you, get, when you become whole, you know who you are. And then you experience life in your full sense. Instead of always struggling and fighting with a part of you that you feel is bad or wrong or negative, you know? Okay. Someone may want, I feel someone is coming back with the King of Pentacles energy. They're taking their time. It's as if they are, um, it is as if this person, they're digging a trench or something so solid. Like there, it's like a plan. It's like an escape. It's like digging from big, big di oh, you know, like when someone, someone plots a prison escape, you're working on it for weeks. You know, you have to take your time to dig out the, the wall little by little by little. Like the, that's the energy this person is working with. I don't know if it's an escape exactly that they're planning. It's possible to come to you. <laughs> like they know that they need to get out and get to you. Yes, yes, yes. They, it's like they know it's like a like it's like a mission or something like they need to come toward you it's like destiny for this person to so at whatever i feel whatever it takes they're going to find their way out there however long it takes and they're they're probably working in secret in quiet to underground because i do feel digging energy this is earth energy so i do feel digging energy things taking a while to come through but i do feel this person there's work going on there's work in progress and I feel it's they're guaranteed to present in in your energy sometime or someday soon. Because they are working and they are almost here. I don't know. They're coming to offer you something. Maybe in exchange for something that you have. They see something in you that you have to give. 
your expertise, your experience, your knowledge, your gifts. You know, they see something that you have to give your love, your light, something about your eyes, your, 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 your self, your essence or your expression or something like that. That's how they see you. Something about you that they, they want to give something to you in exchange for what you have. Now, this can be wanting to commit to you, wanting to be with you in a relationship, wanting to partner with you in a business. Perhaps, you know, I feel two different energies here, business and love. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer, the strength. Oh, my God. And the King of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, strength. I, uh, this feels like sh willpower and endurance, determination. Behind closed doors, in secret, secrecy. I don't know why I'm getting secrecy all of, off of this energy. I'm not sure who this, if this is your energy, Cancer, because I do feel grace is what heals your heart. And maybe this is saying forgiveness because you realize that your all in all is within you. I did say that in the beginning with the strength card. Maybe you're, you're, you will be able to forgive this person when they come to you. Maybe this is forgiveness that they want from you. I don't, they're tr it's like something that they feel is necessary to clear up or to explain or to present or to give to you like they feel like this is this this belongs to you and so the strength to forgive i hear share is the share will or share strength share 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 sharing as if maybe they want you to share something okay for some of you you know, you know and this could be your energy to can share with the pentacles energy both of you could be soulmates it could be soulmate with an earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> it's so funny. I feel you just said something like, um, I don't want that soulmate connection though. That's the energy. Like, I don't want that soulmate connection though. <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the page of swords. Um, some of you could be uh, getting wind of some information or it, it could be the way you're speaking. All right. But I do feel like you sense this person coming. You... There's something that you sent out in your heart space already. Like before, maybe before this person arrives to you, they will get a sense that you have already forgiven them and there's no need for them to really come around. And they'll probably turn back while on this journey because they'll come face to face with you in, in, in your strength. And there's something that you're presenting. It's like a roar or it's, it's like you expressing yourself. That's what I'm talking about. There's so much different, there's so many different messages here, all right? So it could be the way you're expressing yourself. Because in the beginning, I was talking about healing the throat chakra, the heart chakra, learning how to express. I do feel maybe when this person arrives, if they do, I do feel you opening up and standing in your power and your truth. I, I feel like it's going to be, um, yeah, standing in your truth, in your power. You look good. I feel like this person sees that you are fully abundant. Okay? And so what they're coming with to offer you is actually pretty abundant in, in itself. But you're more abundant because you're the queen. And this abundance, it can be in confidence, in your feeling of wealth, your vibrancy, your own energy. You're just glowing up. You feel good. You're focusing on your dream, your mission. This person realizes that you have leveled up if you if you are you you're, you're a top class, top shelf quality kind of liquor here, sitting here over, over time, um, fermenting. Like I, you, you like, you're like wine and this person may want, that's what they want from you to buy a taste of this expensive aged glass of wine. I feel this person thinks you're very wise. That's the energy. When I, when I hear aged wine, I feel like they're talking about your, the way you your attitude in life, the way you think, the way you express yourself. This is so beautiful. I feel like you're a young person. I'm getting the energy of someone in, um, you know, the Aladdin movie, that kind of energy where you're, you're young, you're vibrant, you're, you're outgoing, you're beautiful. 
but your and your expensive your your ex, like your, your just your wealth of knowledge and your presence alone i feel is like it's it is expensive just the, all the things that you know your wealth it's can am i explaining myself well just your wealth of knowledge and everything that you are and have this person sees you as highly valuable and they know you realize this Maybe before you didn't realize how highly valuable you were and you're looking at someone as being the high value, the high valuable one because this is how they were presenting themselves. But this is like, I feel it's pure cockiness. What is the king of pentacles energy? Hmm. Okay. So beautiful cards. Ooh, I feel like this person was giving more than they had to give. They were over... Ex look, <laughs> see what I'm saying? They had, they had um, a lot of different responsibilities, family expenses, business, charities, like people that they were just giving, 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 giving to. And at the end of the day, I feel like their bank account was depleting. This person wasn't being wise about their money. This person could be heavy Capricorn. Heavy, heavy Capricorn. Capricorn. Maybe that's why you moved away. Because we see. You moved away, you walked away, you disconnected. I do, I want to try to do a reading where, I'm, where I focus on one, one energy. Like, either I'm focusing on your person alone, or I'm focusing on where you're heading. But sometimes my readings, they're talking about everything. I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. All right, so let's wrap this reading up now, Cancerian. Let's see. Anything else, else about the King of Pentacles? I feel like if you did leave, when you left, oh, it feels this person wanted a happy home, a family, and a, an abundant life. They may have felt that they received some gift, that, like you are a blessing to them, and they want like a dream come true. All right? I feel like they, they feel like they lost their dream come true, and they're chasing after it. They're literally running with it. Like the, you're, you are just moving with the wind, like floating away like this flower, floating in the wind, being drifted beautiful this is the dream come true which is you the ten of cups cancerian energy right and this 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 earth sign is moving after you like they're saying they're literally running after you while you're drifting in the wind because they feel like you are their dream come true and they may have lost this wish that a wish come true a wish come true this is my six of pentacles energy a wish granted like you asked for something, like this person may have asked for you specifically. That's why I'm saying you may have been soulmates. All right. Um, so you may have been real soulmates. Let's see where you guys met, where you came from. Let's see if we can get into that energy. So this person does feel this strong, beautiful connection toward you. They feel like they manifested you. That's the energy. But maybe because they felt like they manifested you, they weren't thinking of you as your own person. I feel like they neglected you and they were in their ego. They were giving to others as well. I don't see third party energy, but I feel like this person wasn't, they weren't uh, wise with their money, you know? So even though they were presenting as someone, someone wealthy or high value, they're not really. They don't know much about managing money and all these things. They just give, give, spend, spend here, there. And so there's no boundaries. There's no, there are no budgets. It's so weird. And yet you were asking for so much more. You wanted so you wanted to feel balanced. You wanted the equality. You wanted them to possibly give some attention to you. They were out there giving a lot of attention to other people. I feel just to just to maintain this show of hype or something of class. Like I am, I'm, 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 I'm outstanding. I got money to give. It's that energy. It's so immature. I feel. And you wanted there to be balance. You wanted this person to give you some some attention. You weren't asking for much, you know, because I feel too. You feel like you brought this into your life. This person as well. Two of hearts, two of hearts, two of hearts, all right? It's so funny we have two of hearts and two of pentacles, and we're dealing with hearts and pentacles energy throughout our reading here. Okay, so the one sort of energy I'm seeing, you did move, all right? You stood up for yourself, Cancer, and you, just, you stood in your strength. You moved away from indecision. You followed intuition. You followed blessings. You followed good omens. You followed the, the advice of your mentors, your spiritual guides. And you felt protected. You felt safe. You felt secure. You felt like, yes, I have faith. All these things that it takes to trust in you and become aware of you and how you move. And I feel like you're leaving burdens behind. And you're, you're gone with the wind. Fabulous. Like, I do feel like floating on wind. And this is my literally gone with the wind fabulous energy this is where you're standing up for yourself 
and no one can really come to you and say any mess because they're like miss me with that you know miss me with that i'm not having it standing up expert roar in your true beauty we do have a lot of blue energy out here when it comes to self-expression and this is what i'm talking about healing the throat chakra so we're going to all right heal, so work on your throat chakra to heal that heal the way you express yourself and the way you stand up for yourself knowing what is right and don't um let your yes mean yes and your no mean no okay and to yourself, not, not to honor another person, but to honor you with your integrity. So I feel like this person was literally neglecting you. Let's get back to that story. This person probably has a good heart, but they're not grounded in um, a direction or there just needs to be balance in the way they do things. And so you, I feel like you tried, you tried, you, hmm. you may have been ignoring the red flags. You know, I feel you were ignored. Red flags were all over this person. It was so, it's so evident that they are, whatever it is that was, it's so evident. All of the red flag, flags about this person were outstanding. And I feel like there were so many. And you also, you have a part of, I feel like you, you, you enabled this in a way because you maybe tried to see a better side of this person or... You try to guide them and love them and heal them as cancerians do. And so you try, you denied all these red flags. You put them in your pocket, literally. You know, you're like, oh, red flag. I pick it. You pick them up off the floor and stuff them in your pocket so no one else sees them. And you get rid of them. That's what you do to the red flags <laughs> are dead. And so you decided, no more. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I, I, that's what I, something happened, you know, that caused you to stop waiting at this person's side. It's like you realize that. They are not high value after all. They're not who they say they are. You've been waiting and looking and watching and feeling and speaking. But you're saying, oh my, look, you're not getting what you weren't getting what you wanted. I don't, I don't see this person giving you. And it's like they weren't even trying to impress you or please you. It's like more of what other people thought of them. And you're here with this person. Look, look at this person with their hat on. They look healthier than the person in the blue. The person in the blue would be you. This person was breadcrumbing you they weren't giving you emotional support oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness mm -mm -mm. all because of being immature and in the ego that's how i feel they wanted to just walk around and dish it out dish out money to everyone and they think that this is healthy and i feel like you uh, you couldn't say anything to this person you're like please no stop listen let's let's have a vision look at you you're saying let's 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 have a vision let's have a plan together let's do things let's have a vision and probably you were sharing your vision with this person and they weren't even listening they weren't listening to you it's like they feel they, they disregard oh my god can Syrian. they disregarded you they it's like they pretended to hear you but they weren't hearing you at all and that's what caused you to move on Okay, so you walked away. I feel like it wasn't easy for you. It wasn't the easiest decision because I feel you did invest in this. And that is why this person is still lingering with you. There's something that you entrusted in this relationship. You know, it feels like a trust fund. Like you thought this was going to be successful. It's like you trusted in it. You trusted your energy into it, into something, an idea. And they left, they, they ignored you. How dare this person? I know they're running after you. No, no. Look, now they see you. Now they want to be honest and true and pure and expressive and emotional and act like they... No, I don't want to say act. Well, now they want to care about you and be emotional and act like... I keep saying, like they're, they, they have your back and they're on your side and they'll stick around with you no matter what. They'll give you what you're asking for. All of a sudden, this person don't look so high value anymore. They're, they look injured. They look broken because this is the real them. And why, why they're pretending only God, he knows. Why they're pretending to be this? Maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to manifest this lifestyle. But it's, 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 not, it's not being done with, with, with stability or even common sense, really. Because you're holding the balance scale away. This is what this person was doing. They weren't, they weren't balanced. There wasn't any equality here. Okay. So I feel like maybe you can see and you enable this possibly because uh, 
a financial support from this person okay possibly and then look this person is broke they, they're walking on crutches and you too look broke <laughs> cancerian it's true you look like listen i'm broke i'm gonna get my money i'm not fooling around anymore you do you you be broke and continue living the way you want to live but i feel like moving forward and taking steps towards my destiny i feel like chasing my my vision my dreams all right and, and that's the road you're heading in to your dreams to your dream come true cancerian all right your dream come true anything else that wants to come out what else should we clarify what else should we ask if these two are soulmates Doo -doo -doo -doo. Boom. <laughs> I feel it was written. Ooh, I feel like there's a. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, all right. This person was written in your story to teach you a lesson, and you were written in their story to teach them a lesson. It could be a lesson about speaking up, standing up for yourself, your strength, tapping into your higher consciousness, being, becoming self aware. That is it. That is it. Both of you needed to become self-aware. I feel like you, the relationship was kind of, like, kind of toxic, bordering on toxic or dependency. So one codependency, and there's enabling the codependency because, and then so both of you needed to heal something to become aware of a, a lingering energy that causes you to attract this, and that is how you're going to move on if you want to you're going to have to become aware of what kept you attracted or attached or what even attracted you to this person in the first place that's the lesson you need to go to the root and so i feel become self-aware and i feel like cancer you have become self-aware because you are the one moving with the swords energy here knowing who you are your identity your stability so i feel like you have become self-aware you realize that this is what i'm doing like I'm waiting around for someone to do what? To help me financially or to tell me I'm valuable. I'm waiting I was waiting around for someone to say I'm good enough or I'm valuable or to or to give me some attention and that will make me feel like, oh I'm valuable after all, you know. But you're like, uh uh. Oh there's something that moved in you. You see that's what I'm saying. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay. So in the beginning we did say a shift in vibration, a shift in energy that makes you Pay, that's making you pay more attention to the things that va that's valuable so there are different things that started to awaken in you that you're seeing as valuable and so you started to give those things your attention and that's what causes you to really move away because you're giving your attention to other things not just to this connection or to this sadness or whatever but to your dreams you're giving more attention to your dreams valuable things whatever it's like maybe you f you started doing yoga and that, that kind of pulled your energy and your attention away from this relationship, right? Or you started meditating, or you started eating differently, or you started waking up in the mornings and going on walks, just other things that you started writing, other things you're investing your energy in that you're now seeing. You, you didn't realize that these things would be valuable, and this value is not finances, it's energetic value, things that are feeding your energy, because you have been depleted and mistreated and shortchanged and breadcrumbed and it, you, f you didn't feel valuable and so you started to pay more attention to other things and your value started to increase and you started to realize i'm not getting what i deserve you know and so you started to literally like gradually drift away and this person was realizing it that you're drifting they're like oh what wh where is cancer that should have been at my foot here and then they turn around and they see you walking off. And they're like, no, where are you going? Come back. Even though this is so weird because this person knows you are their, their dream come true. That's why I know you're soulmates. The, the yes came. This is the ace of swords. It's like, yes, it's destined. It's meant to happen. But this person is not healed yet. They're still in that same energy. If they want you because. But you have awakened. You've become self-aware cancer. And so you, you've taken charge of yourself, I feel. You know, you're moving more in your power. Any other questions? Any other clarification? This energy. Because if this person may want to return to you, I, I want to know what it is that they're coming with. It is something that they were dragging through the dirt. Listen, it, it's like they scraped this together. So if it is money, it wasn't easy for them to get this money. I'm telling you, it's like they had to work hard for hours. 
and they had to borrow over here and over there and round there to come up with the the sum and then that's that's how they do it to, to get it to you it wasn't easy so let us clarify the knight of pentacles energy for our cancer what is the knight of pentacles okay we're gonna ask what is the knight of pentacles coming with what is the knight of pentacles coming with or holding mm. oh 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 okay 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 something that is hot it may burn notice they're holding it it's like it's 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 hot like it just came off the fire like it could be news it could be a secret maybe that's why they're being careful with telling you oh my gosh okay okay oh okay okay this could be something about um an involvement with another person Maybe they want to tell you something. It's almost like they want to tell you something about another person and money. Like they're saying, this is why you didn't get the money because this person did so and so. That's something that you didn't know that was going on. It's like, this person did so and so, that's why you didn't get cer a certain money or cer something that was valuable or you didn't get my, my time. It could be that they're trying to give you what's valuable now, look, because they weren't giving it to you before. You went to chase after it and maybe they were working on themselves. So maybe this money I'm saying they're coming with, it's like they're working on themselves to come present it, but it's hard. I'm telling you, the work that they were doing, it took effort. That's maybe why the strength card did come out for them. It took strength and courage maybe for this person to leave or to come to you or to even level up or, or to, to work on themselves to come present this like this is what i have because <sighs> they've been coming from afar and and maybe it comes with truth so i feel that the energy of the tongue something being spoken like they're about to confess oh yes that's the energy confession they're coming with something and a confession and it could involve this queen of wands she came out in the reverse let's see what is the queen of wands or who is the queen of wands queen of wands energy in the reverse what is the queen of wands i feel like they're saying something is over <laughs> look maybe they're saying it's done why would they say that why would they want to tell you it's over like i'm done with her now i'm not dealing with her anymore i choose you i only see you but it's like they're confessing like i was with her it's true but i'm done i'm done with her now or him you know let the genders apply it's only you that i see you're my wish you're my dream come true i do feel oh i hear lots of this person feels like they your dream come true i'm telling you any other messages any other messages cancer let's see how you feel about the entire situation Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Cancer, so you want the, the situation to end. You want it done. This is the energy. The death card is the energy of Cancer. And it's done. You want something new. You're like, listen, I've been through these cycles, man. And I just, I want to experience something new. You know, the sun is coming up. It's like you want maybe freedom. You want to explore new things. Feel yourself. Because you're just becoming self-aware, remember? So, that you want to... I feel even aligned with people that are are on a vibration that you want to be in. Okay? So you want it over. Any other messages for how cancer feels? Change. You want a change. You want a change. Of location, perhaps. Here they come. No. Okay. Any other messages for cancer? So crosswatchers are here. Crosswatchers are here, cancer. Hello, crosswatchers. Crosswatchers saying no. They don't want you to want this change or want something to end. It could be a Virgo, Earth sign, Fire sign. Maybe someone new coming in. It's like you have options too. It could be two people, Virgo and Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, seeking you. This person is watching and they're. It's like they're begging you, please no. And they may re be returning. And this could be someone new coming in too. I'm leaving your messages here. Cancel. Let's do one. 
final shuffle for a yes or no question that you have ask your question in love and money will i do this how am i going to or what if you know yes or no so let's get some answers for you and breathe and become a part of this energy here that we're sharing The answers for cancers. <laughs> the answers for cancers. Alright. Oh my god, the moon. Oh my god, the world. And then this wanted to come out. Oh. The answers for cancers. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh. Some of you, yes, keep blocking. Yes, it's okay that you're blocking. Yes, it's you're doing the right thing. Some of you, meditation, getting to know who you are, integrity. It's like it's like sitting alone for a while, going off and figuring out what you who you are, so that you're not easily swayed by the wind. It's like that stability in your heart space, how you move, how you operate, how you speak. It, it's so beautiful and powerful. It's literally you getting to know who you are so that you can be so gone with the wind fabulous in your expressions in what you believe in in what you tolerate because some of you may be tolerating crap because you don't have a sense of self all right so it's it's i feel meditation to just relax sometimes and not silence you know hold your own and, and develop your spiritual nature you know get in get in alignment with your spirituality your ancestors are here i do feel that whenever you ask the answers come okay what are, what else did we get we got Answers for cancers, the king of ones that wanted to come out. I feel, yes, this person is still attracted to you. It's like, or they're still open and flirting and not committed, if that's what you're asking about another person. Could be someone that may have an intention to come into you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be someone that has their own business, but this person is actually kind of grounded in hard space. But they're not really commitment ready. You know, they're very passionate and attractive, very beautiful, very focused on their vision, their business their prosperity their success they are who they are they're very virile or fertile so that's the energy like that vibrant burst of masculine energy or that burst of beautiful femininity when it comes to even intense uh sexuality in just the way they appear all right so this person may have an intention to move toward you but it's not for commitment reasons we have the first card that came is the sun and it's amazing the answer is yes so when you saw this sun to your question, the answer is yes. You will have this new beginning. I did mention the sun earlier. Oh yes, I mentioned the sun after I saw the death energy. You wanted something new. It's like you wanted the sun to come up a new day. You want new experiences, brand new beginnings. You want to feel pure on your mission, in your journey, on purpose, aligned. You want that childlike spirits again. You want to feel like you are a child of the sun. And you are. And so you are. You are. The moon energy, I feel it's, let me tell you what this is. This is a, whew, let me get that energy for you. I feel clouds and I feel nighttime and I feel wind. So it's like it's coming in. A cold night, a secret. Hmm. It feels like a secret. A secret I hear and this is also Pisces energy Pi we have water sign and, and air sign out and um, fire sign a lot so this is fire the Sun this it's like an energy it's, I like it it's kind of secret like mysterious what not mysterious it's more like a secret on the wind what is that what should I say about the moon energy but that's your response and then I have the world card so if you want to travel you'll be traveling or someone may be coming around in your world you'll be, be getting the experiences you want this is also saying you have a wealth of knowledge. You possibly have lifetimes. And so you're very smart. Remember that's what I was saying. Like this person feels like you're very smart, very intelligent. That's how they see you as high value, priceless. Right? And it could be because, for example, you travel the world and you've had a lot of experiences. You maybe speak, you may speak a lot of, um, you may speak several different languages. So they just see you as valuable. I feel like you have a lot of experiences even to come traveling the world and then we have ten of pentacles so this is new beginnings i love these energies new beginnings in 
finances and brand new energies i hear -da 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 -da, like brand new sparks of light beautiful experiences coming in um you, you feel more valuable beautiful ideas promising things for success so yes and then at the bottom of the deck we have the devil energy and this person feels like they are this is still capricorn virgo taurus energy they're still here and i'm telling you that this person is still not healed or they are not they haven't come into acceptance of are coming they haven't found their awareness of self yet so the attachment that they feel toward you is still toxic so you have to really be careful of that that's why you're still blocking all right and following your heart and being powerful in your strength in your strength in the way you express yourself and not not oversharing either not giving too much of your spirituality away your essential emotions knowing how to stand up for yourself so this person i say they're not healed they want to tag along maybe they feel like you owe them something you know because they do feel like you are their soulmate so like they feel you belong so you have to be careful belong to them you're have you're going to be blocking this person i, I feel like you're not tolerating that there's so much beautiful things happening for you. This person sees it. They're so, it's like they feel like they lost, they lost this chance of aligning with such a, a beautiful and a blessed and abundant person. But it's like they're not in their best self, you know? They're not still thinking straight or clearly. They're still ruled by low of vibrations. They still maybe want to come into you for. Some fulfillment here. That's all. Oh, think about it. oh my gosh. Leaving your reading here, beautiful people. I love you. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here, for sharing your energy here with me. Much love and appreciation. Remember um, to uh, subscribe to the channel if you found the message helpful or inspiring. Um, if you'd like to share the videos as well with those you love, share it in your groups, on Facebook, etc. To share the messages of inspiration with your fellow Cancerians who may need some, some tips and tricks right now, right? Also, uh, hit the like button to leave a compliment behind on this video. I really appreciate all of your gestures of support. Other ways to support my channel are in the description box if you'd like to leave me a donation. I'd love that if you would like to... Um, purchase a gift on my from my wish list on amazon i'd appreciate that too but it's really up to you i'm just letting you know that the options are there in case you weren't aware and <laughs> thank you so much for coming through for being you and what else do i have to say remember that you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all cancerian and all is within you much love thank you